Bismillahir Rahim. Our case today is 27 weeks, 800 grams, admitted with RDS, received uh, one dose of uh, surfactant. Now the baby is eight days old and the mid uh, criteria of uh, extubation regarding the clinically and the laboratory and the radiologically. Clinically, by system-wise, CMS is no apnea, no sedations, and hemodynamically is no any drops, and hemodynamically stable. Respiratory-wise, is two parts, respiratory drive and respiratory effort. Respiratory drive, actually, is no apnea, respiratory effort. So we are going to check the respiratory effort by uh, spontaneous breathing trial. Uh, so, uh, and we reviewed the laboratory-wise, the blood gas and uh, the CPC and all of this within normal and acceptable limit. And also we reviewed the radiological part, the X-ray in acceptable uh, range. So today, uh, Mr. Abdullah, our senior respiratory therapist, will show us about the uh, spontaneous breathing uh, trial and how to do it and what is the result. And this patient is really is fit and meet all the criteria of extubation and we'll be sure to extubate him or not. And our uh, staff, uh, senior uh, sister Julie and the senior sister Ansu, it will help us in this uh, issue. So, uh, Mr. Abdullah, if you don't mind, you can start with these. Okay, I'm gonna talk and explain uh, more about the, uh, one of the most important parts in extubation criteria which is the passing of spontaneous breathing trial. So, patient currently on SMV mode plus settings. After that, we'll shift the patient next. We'll shift the patient to spontaneous uh, tri breathing trial, pressure support with CBAP. Here, three parameters we need uh, to focus, the pressure support, PEEP, and FIO2. So here, pressure support is seven, PEEP five, so seven plus five is a 12. So it's, it's uh, de delivering to the baby 12 pressure support. Then confirm the mood. Now it's giving us spontaneous breathing, uh, spontaneous uh, mood, CBA pressure support. Here the FI2 beep pressure support. If you will press on top of pressure support, it will give you the total birth support 12 so 7 plus 5 is 12 so it's going to the baby 12 pressure support after you shifting the mode to pressure support ventilation you have to monitor and observe the spontaneous measured values from the baby which is the respiratory rate and spontaneous tidal volume as you notice here, the respiratory rate is baby, it's like going to be like bradypneic. It's not the physiologic for premature. It should be more than at least 30. And generating acceptable spontaneous uh, tidal volume. After that, we'll look for the monitor also. When the baby was on a sign remote, the saturation was 94. Now when I shift to brush support, start to deset gradually. Now it's 90, that uh, saturation. Also, we need to look and observe the breathing pattern for the baby. If there are any uh, tachypnea or retraction, or the baby got apneic or bradypneic. So now I can see baby now is breathing well in 30s, generating acceptable uh, tidal volume, but I have concern with the saturation is borderline 90. So we'll give the baby a chance and time. We'll observe it, um, uh, closely. We'll follow up by another blood gas after one hour. If it's acceptable, acceptable blood gas, we can give the baby chance for uh, uh, extubation. Uh, if not, if it started to tachypneic or abneic, bradypneic, desatting, we'll hold the spontaneous breathing trial. We'll shift back to a sign V mood, and maybe next day we'll try again the spontaneous breathing trial. Thank you, Mr. Abdullah. Thank you, our team. Thank you.